Hey everybody, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com and in this short video I want to talk about when pond aeration is not enough to help with an algae problem. As you can see, we've got a lot of algae growing in this pond and it does have two surface fountains installed and they are properly fit and sized for this water body. The depth is pretty shallow and so uh, a fountain would make sense here. But in this case, this pond is very old uh, it has an extensive amount of muck and sludge buildup at the bottom, uh, accumulated over the years of leaf debris and organic buildup. And so this year, the city that owns this pond, they are using algicides sporadically to treat ahead of, let's say, important events or holidays or things like that. But the plans are, as we get into fall, to dredge this pond fully, to clean out the bottom, uh, remove the muck and sedimentation that's built up. And I think that will take a lot of the stress off the pond as a whole and make managing it much easier. Uh, aeration then may be extremely helpful in maintaining good condition. Some supplemental microbes can also help, but at this stage of the game, I don't think you could throw anything in here that would necessarily turn it around completely. And as you can see, aeration is simply not enough. I know I talk a lot about aeration and the benefits that it may bring to helping manage algae, but it's just proof. And I think for full transparency, it's just something I wanted to show you that when a pond gets so far off, uh, it's very difficult to turn it around. And certainly aeration on its own is not going to do the trick here. So dredging is the proper step to take uh, in the next stage and I think it will help in restoring the pond to a much better conditions in the seasons to come. At any rate, if you have questions about your pond or pond algae, get in touch with us at pondalgesolutions.com. We're happy to help, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.